Hi, in this small tutorial, I want to show you how the occlusion calling works in Unity and how to set up your object. So let's dive in. Uh, my project here, I have Meganest. I'm building Meganest, the auction dist district. So it's perfect to show you how I do it. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, here we have the oxygen district. Um, when I click on an object like this uh, maze mod here, you can see that the static has flat uh, stripe, but normally what the first thing you need to do is you import your uh, object, you place it in your scene, click it in the hierarchy, your um, game object, and then uh, you need to decide, would it be an occluder static or an occlude stack static? So normally when I do, uh, normally I start with, I click everything and then I click off what I don't need. So an occlude will be hidden by an occluder. So like walls and everything, it's pretty big. So like a, a ball or in my case turrets will be hidden by an occluder. So I need to set this as an occluder. So I need to click off uh, occlude static. So that means for the system, for the occlusion calling system, this will be an occluder static. Then we have like smaller parts like this chest or this uh, turret here. When I click it, it's also uh, a static. So normally you start with, you click on static, you click on it, you get like a V, okay. And then you go in and I've decided, okay, this is smaller. This can be hidden by a wall, so an occluder. And this should be an occlude static. So you click off occluder static, static and the system knows, now the Unity engine knows it's an occlude static. All the rest, like uh, contribute GI and batching static, I will reflection pro static. I will show it in another short video, but I want to start with this one. Okay, I can show you how it works. Uh, it's very easy to test. Uh, you go to window, and then you go into uh, rendering, occlusion calling. If you click that, you get a, a side panel, and it's called occlusion minus open, and you set on visualization. But first of all, no. First of all, mine is baked, so <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit too fast. First of all, you need to bake. So at the right side, you have a bake button. You, you need to click that and then the Unity engine will bake occluders and occludes. If that is done with, uh, it's uh, like one minute or so, 30 seconds, 20 seconds. You go into the visualization tab. Now the camera, the player's camera is uh, facing into front pass of the uh, oxygen district of Meganas Labyrinth. And you can see that all the masses that the camera can't see are gone. Okay, so if I take the player, you can see it work. You can do it yourself also. It's pretty neat to see if you set it on rotation and then you rotate the camera. You will see that everything what is behind the camera is all gone. So that will help increasing the performance for your game. And it's pretty easy to implement. So I hope that helped. If you have questions or so, I will add a little bit more tutorials on it, like addressables, you have uh, prefabs or variants. If you combine everything together, you're, you will see the performance will be much better uh, or much higher than uh, normal placing objects in Unity scene. Okay, up for the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.